Hey guys, what's up? Old Hell Rado here. What I'm going to show you well, is what I believe to be maybe to bypass the three day cooldown on treasure maps. Now, this video is going to be sped up a lot because it would be so fucking long, it would be an hour. So, what you want to do, I'm just showing you that I am on a cooldown. If you can come in here and do a blood money mission and nothing spawns over and over nothing spawns i sped all this up so i guess what i had to do so i've worked on this for about four days now and i believe it is and will bypass the three-day cooldown now as you see i come in here did this mission come in nothing is spawning in i am on a cooldown so i close the game or go back online, vice versa, but it actually helps to close the game. Spawn back in, right over here, bam, back down the roads, do the mission again. Four days of doing this, what I have found out, yes, it will bring you out of a cooldown. It will bring you out of a cooldown. For me, that's what I need. I don't have testers no more or anybody to help me, so I need you as a community to let me know. Okay, so thank you for that. But one, two things that does screw it up. If you're in here, and you're doing a mission, and a wagon, like, spawns in by one of the maps on the tree, or trees by the maps, just close the game. Close the game. Won't work. Number two, if Madame Nazar is at the Heartlands, don't even try it. Just give it up. Won't work. Because Madame Nazar is basically a dynamic, considered a dynamic event. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to do a trader run. Well, this I'm going to really get nothing. I am on the total cooldown. Because there is no sense trying to do a barge crossing or anything like that, trying to get them off a tree. Because it just wouldn't work. I'm on a cooldown. And this is to show that I, yeah, I am on a cooldown. And I rode the whole circle on this. Make sure you got the RDO map, and it will show you all the locations for these treasure hunters and maps on the tree. Again, Google RDO map. will show you all locations of everything. See, nothing. So, I don't know why I cut it there, but close game. I switched over to Fallout. Jump back on RDR2. So, four days of doing this, and I think this is it. This is how to bypass it. Okay, go spawn back in here. I'm going to do one more blood money mission. I think I am. Yeah, one more blood money mission. I even tried it. I should have got video of it. I did it with uh, James Landing, too. Nothing. Nothing. I did do it with bar Barge Crossing. No video. Sorry. Being even longer than what it is. Nothing. So we come down here. You know the routine. Anthony Foreman. Do Stagecoach Stick Up. All ass. Same old routine, same old shit. Like I said, I believe this to be the bypass for the three-day cooldown. So far, I'm the only one been testing it. So, I can't prove it works for y'all. On Xbox, I can't help you. Because I'm doing this solo in an MTU lobby. Probably on Xbox, if you're in a private lobby, it'll work. Love of God. As you see, I didn't get nothing. Loading back into RDR2.
And again, I'm just going by what I've been working with. Now we're going to run over here. Make sure your moonshine shack is in the heartlands. And if you want more proof, I will put a link to last Saturday's live stream. And I'll put the timestamps on it where you can see where I was working with it. And it was fucking working. And I even forced myself to get a cool down. And it worked. Now go in here. You got to make sure you got a load of shine ready to run. Let him run his mouth. Start calling for that horse. And in my opinion, this is the fastest way to get on PS4, PS5 to get treasure maps. On Xbox, it's going to be harder because you can't do an MTU lobby. But you can't do a solo lobby, but that shit gets cumbersome. Now we're going to haul ass over here to Hirekins. Again, you all got to test it out. I'm sure there'll be 10 million fucking people saying, oh, it don't work, even though I did it in a live stream. But each to his own, whatever. Again, PS4, PS5, MTU Lobby, 300, 900. Xbox, private lobby. Make sure your moonshine shack is in the heartlands. Make sure you got the RDO map on Google, and it will show you where all these treasure maps on the trees are. See, it spawned in right there. So I believe this is the answer to the cooldown. Now, if a wagon spawns in here, nothing's going to spawn. Madame Nazar's in the heartlands, nothing's going to spawn. And as soon as you come take the map on the PS4, as soon as you see the little icon in the corner, damn it, I wish I'd do a way to get rid of all that shit on there. As soon as you see it pop up, because I got full maps, hotkey disconnect on PS5, close the game. That's it. I'm